hello and welcome to the Worcester Art Museum's Art Together Online. This week we're going to be reading the book The Paper Bag Princess before we head into the galleries and look at three pieces of art. Then we'll be creating two different types of art, one of them with normal everyday materials that you can find around your house. And the other also with some fun scrap materials. So let's go into our book first and start reading. The Paper Bag Princess, story by Robert Munch, art by Michael Markchenko, by Annick Press. A beautiful princess named Elizabeth was going to marry a handsome prince named Ronald. But a dragon came and burnt up her castle, burnt up her clothes, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth put on a paper bag that wasn't burnt and followed the dragon to his cave. When she knocked, the dragon said, Go away! I will eat you tomorrow! Wait, wait, Elizabeth said. Are you a fierce dragon? Oh, yes, said the dragon. Can you burn up a forest, said Elizabeth. The dragon took a deep breath and burnt up 50 forests. Roar! Can you burn up a hundred forests, said Elizabeth. The dragon tried but he had no fire left. I bet you could fly around the whole world really fast, said Elizabeth. The dragon went around the world in five seconds. Wow, do it again, said Elizabeth. The dragon went around the whole world, crashed, fell down, and went to sleep. Elizabeth shouted, hey, dragon! He didn't wake up. Ronald came out and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You have no shoes. You're wearing a paper bag. Come back and rescue me when you're dressed like a real princess. Elizabeth said, Ronald, your hair is nice. You look like a prince, but you're a bum and they didn't get married after all. This is a fun story because it sort of turns on its head the old classic story of a prince rescuing a beautiful princess. And in this case, the princess, Elizabeth, went through a lot of trouble to try to rescue the prince, and he didn't appreciate it because she wasn't wearing a pretty dress. Well, today we're gonna head into the galleries and take a look at a few pieces of art that celebrate just being a strong person, um, no matter how you're dressed. So come on. Welcome to the galleries. So we're going to be looking at three pieces from the museum's collection today. The first piece right here is called Women's Equity. Now this was made by the artist Marisol in 1975. So this print was made to remember the hard work that had been put in to the women's equality movement to give women the same opportunities as the rights of men. And they're holding hands to show that they worked together towards this goal. This second piece is called Bust of a Woman. This was made in 1987 by Thota Vaikuntam. And the artist is from India, from the Telangana region. He wanted to inspire others and show respect for the women from the region that he came from. And so he painted them just as they are, very strong, happy, uh, you know, women ready for anything. He painted them in their traditional saris with the bright colors, and he didn't make them look like anybody that they weren't. He was respecting who they were, and he did 
a large number of these type of paintings. We can see here that this woman has an interesting hairstyle and she has um, you know, strong eyebrows, very strong eyes, like she knows what's going on. She has interesting patterns of um, red stripes and then she has this sash that's on her as well that has lots of spots. And so he did this drawing with ink and watercolor um, and many, many like it to respect and represent these women from his home region. Now the next artist that we're going to look at is named Robert Pruitt and he did this piece, Fantastic Sagas, Soldier, in 2013. Now this work was created as part of a comic series that put futuristic black women in the role of superheroes. So the way she is standing, how she is sort of looking just very strong and confidently out, makes a statement that she can take care of things herself. She doesn't need other people's help. It was very important to the artist to make sure that black women also had a place of power in these comic books. And he also wrapped in the futuristic look just to make it look a little bit more fun. It fit in with the comic art and there's no reason that they shouldn't be futuristic at all. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working with paper inspired by the paper bag princess. There's a few different projects. The first is a printout template where I've already drawn a paper bag and you could just draw yourself or your own characters wearing that paper bag. The second is going to be a little bit of a collage project where you can use some scrap paper to make your own paper fashion or armor um, or perhaps costume. And then the third project will be using paper towel tubes um, or toilet paper tubes and we will be using water to then sculpt with these and then paint them. So we'll transition. You'll see me work on three of the projects and then I'll meet you back here after. For this first project, we've provided a template so that you can draw yourself and a friend in a paper bag, just like the paper bag princess. Be creative. You could be an astronaut, a lion tamer, a cowboy. You could even fight a dragon, just like Elizabeth did. This second project is all about paper scraps. So what you're going to do is you can do a large or several small pieces. You see I cut my paper up into four squares so I could do four different ones. Then you take paper scraps of any type. You can use paper bag scraps, tissue paper, different coloring paper, even magazine scraps. Squish and tear and then glue them on. You don't really have to have an idea first. Once they're all glued down, then you start drawing. You take your inspiration from the actual paper itself and develop your own fashions. I ended up with shoes, some armor, a hat, and a fancy dress. This last project is particularly fun. You start out with paper towel or toilet paper tubes, and you end up with some funny, scrunchy, colorful faces. First, just cut your tubes if you need to, to be the right length, then get them wet. After they're wet, you don't want them too wet because they'll start to fall apart. You get to squish and squinch and pull. You can even cut to make them into different face shapes. Then you have to be patient and let them dry. Now, once they're dry, you get to decorate. I chose to paint mine, and I used acrylic paint because I had some on hand. You can also use markers, different types of paint. You could use crayons, oil pastels, anything you want. And don't forget, you can always add something else to it, like glitter, sequins, feathers, anything you want. Then, to display, you could either keep these individual or you could hang them on a string, or you could even put them together as a little group. Just have fun with it. Thank you for 
coming with me on this Art Together online adventure today. My name is Liz. I'm so glad that you were spending time with me. To recap, we read Paperback Princess. We saw these three pieces of art from the Worcester Art Museum collection, and then we made our own paper and women inspired art pieces. Well, I will look forward to seeing you next time, and until then, stay creative.